This short video will look at item transits in Sitka's Evergreen. An item will go into transit either to return to its home branch or library or to fill a hold at another branch or library. When an item that needs to transit is scanned into the check-in screen, a transit slip will pop up displaying information about the item and where it needs to be sent. If the item is needed to fill a hold, hold information will display on the transit slip. The transit and hold transit slips can be printed and attached to the items. The default template for the printed hold transit slip does not include information about the requester to protect patron privacy. It's important to always double check where Evergreen is transiting the item to. In some cases, an item is returned to Library A, is actually owned by Library B, but due to reciprocal borrowing policies is being sent to Library C to fill a hold. Items can also be sent into transit accidentally by a misscan. When this happens, staff should contact the owning library of the item or support so the appropriate action can be taken depending on the previous status of the item. The transit list found under Administration, Local Administration, Transit List helps manage your incoming and outgoing transits. You can view transits to or from your library or branch and filter by specific periods. Support recommends checking the transit list on a regular basis to identify items that have been in transit longer than usual. In those cases, staff can check for the item in case it was missed at check-in and then follow up with the sending library if the item can't be located. Under certain circumstances, cancelling a transit may be required. Support strongly recommends that only the library sending the item ever cancel a transit and only before physically sending out the item as cancelling a transit affects circulation statistics. This recommendation is a required workflow for libraries participating in Interlibrary Connect resource sharing agreements. To cancel a transit, select the transit and click the Cancel Transit button. The pop-up will display a count of any associated holds. Click Cancel Transit to cancel it. The item status is updated to Cancel Transit and the item must be checked in to return to regular circulation. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the BC Libraries Cooperative website.